Today we're, we're learning about system of equations. I'm going to show you three ways to solve. Let's get started. The first strategy is called substitution. Since one equation already says y equals 2x, we can substitute it into the other equation. Let's replace y with 2x. And now we're going to combine x plus 2x. Remember that invisible one in front of that x? We're left with, you got it, 3x. Now we have 3x equals 9. We'll divide both sides by 3 to see what x equals. 9 divided by 3, you got it, it's 3. So x equals 3. Now that we know that x equals 3, let's plug it back into that original equation of y equals 2x. Easy peasy. So y equals 2 times x equals 3, right? So y equals 2 times 3. And y equals, product of 2 times 3, is 6. Let's go ahead and do our second strategy. This time, we're going to learn another way to solve using elimination. We can just add or subtract to let one variable disappear so we can solve for another. In this case, y positive y minus y equals 0, so they're eliminated. And then we're just going to combine 2x plus 3x. They're both positive. It makes 5x. And now on the right side of the equation, we have 10 plus 5. Both positive makes 15. We go ahead and solve by dividing both sides of that equation by 5 to solve for x. And now we know x equals 3. 15 divided by 5. Yo, we got this. Let's go ahead and just plug x equals 3 into our equation again. Remember, our original equation was 2x plus y equals 10. We're going to substitute x for 3. Now we have 2 times 3 plus y equals 10. 2 times 3 is 6 plus y equals 10. Subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. We're going to be left with y, which equals 4. Here's how you solve by graphing. First, make a table for each equation. Choose simple x and y values like I've done here. 1, 0. Then just plug those values of x to find y. Keep it simple. Remember that I'm just substituting the x values to solve for y. So 0 plus 3 equals 3. When I plug y into the equation, remember it's a negative in front of that x, so negative 1 plus 3 equals 2. Now that I have my values, I'm just going to graph them. When I graph the points, then I'm going to draw lines and see where they intersect. That's the solution. Notice that when I'm looking at the table, they both have the x and y value that's the same. It's 1 and 2. That's definitely where they're going to intersect. And that's how we solved three ways. See you next time.